In this video, we will discuss about query string search in Elasticsearch. I will quickly head back to my Kibana console and here you can see that I have a bulk request ready where I am going to create an index called user and I am going to index these eight set of documents. Each document has three fields which are name which is of type text, salary which is an integer and a job description. And for the sake of this tutorial, these eight documents will act as a search space. Let me go ahead and send this request to Elasticsearch. And it says that our documents are created. Let us now quickly see some examples of query string search. So what happens when I want to search for all of the documents in which I can find the term vice. How do I do that? I send a get request to the server. The index that I am searching in is called user. The path will be user slash underscore search. And then I provide Elasticsearch the query parameter and say that the value of this query parameter is vice. When I send this request to Elasticsearch, I can see that I have three hits and all of them have the term vice. In our set of documents, we can see that exactly three documents are having the term vice. Let us take one more example and try to search for all the documents where the name is either Jake or Lucy. So for that, what I'll do is that I'll specify to Elasticsearch that the field that I'm searching on is name. What if what happens when I say that the name I want to search for is Jake? I send the request and I see that I retrieve the document where the name is Jake. Now the task at hand was to search for all the documents where the name is Jake or Lucy. And I can simply specify it in this format. And yes, I get the documents where the name is either Jake or Lucy. Suppose what happens when I want to search for all the documents where job description has the term senior in it. So I say job description senior. I send the request and yes, I retrieve the records. Following along, let me try to get all the records where job description does not contain the term senior and for that all I have to do is append a minus sign over here which will simply negate this condition. I send the request and I see that we get records where the job description does not contain the term senior. For my next example I will try to search for all such documents where I have a salary which is either greater than and equal to 5000 and less than and equal to 7000. And I missed a semicolon over here. Let me send this request and I see 5000, 6000. 5,000 which is between 5,000 and 7,000. As for the last example, what I will try is I will get or search for all such users where the job description contains the term vice or the salary is greater than this is how we put greater than equal to in this format and greater than equal to 5000. I send this request and it shows me this person has a vice and a salary greater than 5000. Vice, salary greater than 5000, salary greater than equal to 5000 and vice in the job description. And there are so many more things that you can do with query string search, but I'd like to just stop at these many examples. To get to know more about query search uh, in Elasticsearch in more detail, you can head straight to the documentation 
query string query and you can read through and you can understand it in depth but generally we will not be using this format and we will be using the other format which i'll discuss in the next video which is the request body format there are a couple of reasons for doing that out of which the first one is that you can see as we increase the number of parameters or conditions these queries can get pretty long and pretty unreadable very quickly as well as another very big disadvantage of this format is that all of these special characters need to be url encoded into certain formats such as percentage 20 and so on and so forth and to show you that let me quickly head to a simple website and try to encode this url and this is what i get which is absolutely not readable by humans and for these a uh, couple of reasons we prefer using the request body format which we will discuss in the later videos and that is it for this time if you find the content of this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and if you find the content of my channel helpful please click subscribe like always thanks a lot for watching